Ice Welcome. It's Nikki Free. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to come on here today and talk to you guys a little bit about this situation with um, Jordan Woods, Khloe Kardashian, and Tristan Thompson. I did a video before on it, um, before I kind of knew um, everything that was going on, and before all this extra stuff started to happen. Now, I am going to go ahead and come out and say I feel like this is utter BS. And the reason why I say this is because they're doing too much. Basically, they're pulling a Jesse. We are all being Jesse once again. And the same thing with Jesse with the news, the Make America Great Again, all the whole Trump supporter knowing about him being on Empire and screaming Empire, you know, all of that, all of that. Just, it was just too much. The same way he went too far with his story to make it seem true and convince us that it was true while creating this story that was actually unbelievable. This is the same thing that's happening with the Kardashians, but Kardashian slash Jenner or Car Jenners. But on a smaller scale, of course, it's definitely not on the level of what Jesse allegedly has done. However, let me go ahead and explain to you guys why I feel that this is not true. I think this is fake news. Okay, now, first of all, Kim Kardashian in the car singing a song she doesn't even seem to know the words to, Don't Mess With My Man, and that was extra. You know, they did all that extra, and she didn't even know the words. It just looked odd, okay? And then with some of the some of them unfollowing Jordan and some of them not unfollowing Jordan. So I guess like Kendall, Kylie, and um, I can't think of the other girl's name right now. But um, Kendall, Kylie, and Courtney. Um, supposedly they are still following Jordan, but the rest of them have unfollowed her. You know, silly things like that. And then also, also... The fact that all of them, for the most part, most of the car Jenners have stolen someone's man. Okay? They're friends' man. They've all done the exact same thing. So, they just kind of took a chapter from their own lives and concocted this crazy story and got this young girl mixed up in it. And now everyone is dragging her. And it's just like, no. I feel like Tristan and Chloe were over, period. I think Tristan never really was in it anyway, it didn't seem like, and I feel like their relationship is completely over for whatever reason. They probably have problems anyway, whatever kind of problems, and since it's over anyway, why not go out with a bang? Why not add this story? And guess what, guys? I found out. Keeping Up With The Kardashians airs March 31st, so of course, all of you will be tuning in to find out what happened, how did this happen? So, I mean, I just feel like it's attention-seeking. It's another situation where people are doing things to get attention. Also, I feel that the Kardashians are used to being in the spotlight. And let's face it, Jussie took over. Jussie was everywhere. That's all everybody wanted to talk about was Jussie, 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 Jussie. And they couldn't handle it. So, they either did it for that um, to get the ratings up because everyone knows last season their ratings weren't as high as they normally are so so they did it for I think I would say both a little bit of both uh, the ratings and the attention because the attention was gone the attention was only on Jesse and I feel like they wanted the attention they wanted that attention that spotlight back because let's face it in today's era you have to be, you're only as famous as your last post or tweet or whatever, you know, and you can just disappear very easily. There are so many people that get, you know, they're like trending, 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 and then you just totally forget about them. I mean, so many people are coming to mind right now that I haven't thought about in months, you know, but they were trending at one time, not too long ago. So we know right now is day to day. The popularity almost you know it's almost like day to day so you really have to stay on the forefront of people's minds to stay relevant and the last thing the Kardashians wants to want to do is lose their relevancy which they're not in jeopardy of that of course they're very popular they're very famous but I'm just saying they want to keep that up anyways that's my little two cents on that I think it's all fake news guys I do not believe this at all um, and as far as Jordan I'm sure, 
I'm sure that they are taking care of Jordan. If this is all uh, fake or whatever, I'm sure they're taking care of her and Jordan will be fine. Jordan was like kind of in the shadows of, Pol of um, Kylie anyway. She wasn't like super out there, but at least now a lot more people know who she is, you know, than, than that, I mean, you know, that did before. Um, it's, they can put her away for about six months or less we're going to forget about this because another scandal is going to happen. R. Kelly is coming up. Other things are going to come up. We're going to forget about this. And then they'll bring Jordan back. They'll say she apologized. And, um, you know, she was um, drunk. Or they'll make up something. And they forgive her. They'll walk her back in. And it'll be over. But in the meantime, you guys will watch the show to see how all of this unfolded. That's my two cents. That's how I feel about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time. Peace.